Welcome to a new Volo. Today we are taking a closer look at this uh, inexpensive speech synthesis module. The part number is uh, XFS5152CE and uh, we do find the datasheet for this chip but unfortunately it's all in Chinese. The datasheet contains schematic examples, they show you how to wire a microphone preamp, how to wire an audio amplifier, they also give you some code examples but most of the text is in Chinese. We should be able though to get a general idea by putting the uh, Chinese PDF through an automated translation service. It won't uh, sound good but we can at least get a sense of what the parameters are and what they mean. So I found this online doc translator service which worked surprisingly well. It translated all of my document and kept most of the formatting intact. So now I have a translated datasheet which I will link in the description below and I will also place a link to places where you can buy this module and uh, also where you can buy just the bare chip. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, a professional manufacturer of printed circuit boards. Their website is modern and has convenient features like easy to use order form with built-in Gerber viewer, production process tracking, package tracking and single button reorder for previous orders without having to upload Gerber files again. But keep in mind that during the translation of the datasheet some of the formatting um, changed. For example, I've noticed the tables don't look exactly like original or some lowercase commands were switched to uppercase. So it would be a good idea to work with both variants side by side just to cross check uh, at least uh, the commands that you're going to be sending. So now we have the technical info required to work with the module and from the datasheet I understand there are two modes we can use. It can synthesize speech in English and Chinese. You basically send it text you want via the UART interface and the module will synthesize and play that. There is also a second mode where it can decode speech through a microphone input. But as you might expect it's not really full featured decoding. It can only recognize and decode a set of pre-recorded commands. And I think you have memory for up to 30 commands to store on board of this chip. I am mostly interested in the speech synthesis mode because uh, you could use that to add voice feedback to one of your project and uh, it even has different settings for the language. Uh, you can set English or Chinese. You can select a few different voices, male, female and a couple of others like uh, girl's voice and Donald Duck voice and there is even a speed and pitch setting so pretty versatile in that regard. And if you're planning to somehow visit China or maybe uh, the uh, biggest electronics market in uh, Shenzhen, you then might uh, be able to build something like a portable module with a few quick phrases that you could uh, select with a simple menu. For example, you could have some predefined phrases for uh, asking what the price of a uh, uh, certain product is, what is the minimum order quantity. So I was thinking you could have those uh, built in and have the module with you and uh, just presenting it to the uh, sellers in Huachang Bay. It does have some uh, internal logic to determine if you are sending it uh, Chinese text or English text or if you are sending it a number and it will try to synthesize that accordingly but there is also a set of commands you can give it to uh, instruct it to the correct format. So I think that's enough talking. I'm pretty sure you would rather watch or hear this module working. So this is my circuit. I'm using a, um, a small audio amplifier uh, and the speaker connected on the um, output of the module. And I have this Arduino which is sending it commands over the UART interface. The pinout of this device can be found on uh, Banggood's product page and I use that to make the uh, connections. Plus I should have uh, configured this uh, dip switch for the uh, correct baud rate according to the uh, table printed here but it just seems to work on 115k board uh, with just the uh, default settings all switches on the on position. So I don't know uh, how that is working or how that's happening but it just works. I have the Arduino and the uh, speech module running at 3.3 volts 
because there is no mention in the data sheet uh, if the pins are 5 volts compatible so I would recommend sticking with uh, 3.3 volts now let's uh, see this I'm going to uh, start the uh, Arduino so it's going to send some commands over UART to the module welcome to a new boat log so you saw that's the uh, kind of uh, output we're getting from this uh, module uh, I'm using just this uh, small speaker. I'm also going to try to capture this audio with uh, an audio card so you can get a sense of what the actual audio quality is and I'm going to overlay that uh, in editing later when I uh, work on this video. Welcome to a new boat log. As you've noticed, uh, speech quality is not great, but it's not bad either. I would say decent. You can clearly understand the speech and it has the advantage that you don't have to waste time with recordings because if you'd like to get better speech, then you could choose one of the uh, SD card MP3 playback modules that I've shown before in my videos. There you can record your own files, you store them on the SD card and just send a command to play that from a microcontroller but that would take a lot of time and things like numbers might be a problem. So depending on your application, this module might be better or not. The module also has a bunch of uh, short sounds and tones stored internally. I think there are about 80 of them and you can play those by sending a simple command and I've written some code to demonstrate that. This will just play a few of those sounds in a sequence. So all of these are stored internally on the chip, so you just need to send a command to call that particular um, sequence. They sound quite okay and I'm sure these will be useful in some applications because you don't have to, again, you don't have to waste time to implement those yourself. I must say, I think you are getting a lot for your money with this module at just $14. You are able to uh, add speech capability to any project and it's not that difficult to use either you just send it a bunch of commands over UART and uh, it, it just works and if you're designing your own product from scratch then it will be way cheaper to get um, just the chip and insert it into your own design so I will uh, conclude this video by um, giving this module a thumbs up and as always if you like to get uh, this module there will be links in this description below to different places where you can order it and as well to the source code that i was using during my test let me know what you think in the comment section and consider hitting the uh, thumbs up button that always helps thank you for watching